What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today, we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Sprinter 333 FKS. Now this Sprinter model in a travel trailer is pretty unique because it's really almost more like a destination trailer being that it's 100 inches wide, which is wider than your standard travel trailer RV. And this thing is gonna be about 37, 38 feet long in total length, so it is a big, travel trailer with a whole ton of space in it and has a really cool unique layout on the inside so let's go take a look what's up y'all welcome back to another video if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos i'm super excited that you're here just sit back relax and enjoy and if you do get something out of this video consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button to become a part of this growing community of rvers all around the world if you want to connect with me on other social media platforms links to my instagram tiktok and facebook are down below where you can find other rv related content that i post regularly and then finally i'm in a sales position so if you see something that you like out of this rv or maybe any rv that you've seen on my channel i can personally assist you in helping you purchase your next rv whether you want to come look at it in person or purchase it over the phone and set up a time to come pick it up we can do all kinds of different things to accommodate for whatever your situation is and i would love to personally assist you so you can text me at the number on the screen all right y'all i'm very excited to walk through this 2022 sprinter 333 fks with you it is been excited to walk through this 2022 sprinter 333 fks with you it has been about six months or so since we got our last sprinter travel trailer in so it has been a long time since we've been able to see one so i'm pretty excited to get a walk through this but you can see here the unloaded vehicle weight rating on this is 9120 so it's going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,410. so definitely a heavy travel trailer that you're looking at here like i said kind of going to be like a almost like a park model or destination type trailer in the size that you're looking at here so this thing is a beast of a travel trailer and I really like a lot that it has to offer. Really cool floor plan on the inside. We'll see in just a sec as we get in there, but we're gonna run through the outside real quick and then we'll go inside. I'm gonna try to get through the outside fairly quickly since it is windy out here. Um, no one told me that it's windy every day in Dallas before I moved here, but so annoying dealing with the wind. But anyways, we're gonna go and get inside this trailer as quick as we can, but let's run through the outside real quick. Got your awning outside, it is gonna cover about uh, two thirds or so, maybe a little under two thirds of the length of the travel trailer there. It also covers your outside entertainment area that you have here where you're going to have a hot point refrigerator, lots of storage space down underneath here with an outlet as well. And then going to have a huge storage space all up through here. So really big storage space that you have there to store things outside that you can have quick access to and then as we come around the front you'll see we have a solar plug here although there is already a 200 watt solar panel on the roof but you do have that solar plug there if you wanted to plug in additional solar you're going to have auto leveling on this travel trailer so you're going to have two stabilizers up front here and then two more behind the axles for that auto leveling package underneath here fully enclosed underbelly so everything underneath here is fully enclosed and insulated and then you're going to have a propane quick connect line on here as well um, but all your water tanks and water lines are going to be sitting above the insulation underneath that wrap portion of the underbelly so that radiant heat is being delivered to both your tanks and water lines when you are out camping or living in this potentially in below freezing temperatures and have that furnace running you're going to have two 30 pound propane bottles that it will come with standard and then up front here you do have a windshield and this is actually an automotive glass windshield so really nice high quality windshield there you can see even with the lights on inside the rv you can hardly see inside there i mean you can hardly see it all so really really dark tint on there as well really like the look of that real clean you have your led docking light across the top and then coming to this side, your auto leveling controls right here. So that'll control your auto leveling. You have your key TV hookup. So you have a satellite wire already ran to the roof. If you were to install a satellite, it would plug in right here and the components would be installed on the roof if you wanted to get a roof mounted satellite. And that wiring job to install that is already done from the factory. So you don't have to incur that expense. Um, we looked at all our specs here. Uh, you do have a spray board well so we'll come with the hose that will hook up to the spray port so you can have an outdoor water source and then 
up front here you do have lots of space for batteries up here and then you have what is going to be your battery disconnect with this box right here so if you want to just kill all the power to your battery you can just switch that to power off and it will kill all the power that is being delivered by your batteries to conserve those if you leave your campsite on this side you can see you have two slides here so what is really unique about this floor plan is you have opposing slide out in the front area of your travel trailer and i like that they put the bigger slide out on your non-camp side so your more shallow slide out doesn't take so much of your outside area here for areas that you hang out outside not as much being taken up by that slide out so you have your bigger slide out on this side you're going to have the cable slide mechanisms on your slides so those are going to gosh this wind is so annoying so the cable driven slides they are going to deliver an equal push and pull from all four corners of the slide out evenly so that thing goes in and out straight every time so you'll have the cable driven slides on each of your slide outs as we come around here you're going to see this is a black tank flush so this is to flush out your black tanks you can send pressurized water through there hooking a the hose up to that valve you're going to have your fresh water and city water connections right here as well as your 50 amp power plug Looking underneath the RV, you are going to have a black and gray tank drain valve right there for your bathroom tanks. And then you have another gray tank dump right there for your kitchen tanks. So two different dump tanks um, or two different dump stations there that are pretty close to each other. So not too much of a hassle dealing with those. Underneath here, you do have the road armor suspension. So this suspension system is going to give you six inches of travel. This is the only uh, suspension system coming out of the factory that gives you three inches of travel up and three inches of travel down. These rubber bushings here will absorb a lot of that shock as you're going up and down the road. So that will give you a better tow as you're going down the road. Definitely gonna want something like that on a bigger travel trailer like this. And then it's going to have a Trailer King tires on it. Honestly, if I were you um, getting this travel trailer, if you're going to be towing it frequently, I would probably upgrade those tires. Um, they may get the job done for you just fine. I know my family has an RV with Trailer King tires on it, and we've had it for a year and haven't had any issues yet. But there's a lot of people that like to change the tires, and that's one of the first changes they make. So you may want to look at maybe a Goodyear Endurance tire or something like that you might want to put on there if you wanted to upgrade the tires. So that is something that kind of wish that they just did standard from the factory, but an easy change that you can make right away. Opening this up, this is going to be a storage compartment underneath your bed. So you have a king size bed in here and this is going to be your storage compartment that is also accessible from outside. You have your auto leveling and tongue jack controls here as well. So instructions for those. And as we come along to the back, see so you get a really large back window off the back wall here. So that is where your bedroom is going to be. You're gonna have a great view out of the bedroom. You have a bumper back here that you can store sewer hoses in if you need to store those there. Spare tire with a cover on it. You have two ACs on the roof and a 200 watt solar panel. We'll get up there and look at that. You also have backup camera prep if you wanted to install a backup camera. And it does come with a ladder, which is great to see because there are lots of RVs that should be coming with ladders that are not right now because it's so hard to find them and so hard to get them for the manufacturers. You also have two outdoor speakers out here as well. And let's get up on the roof real quick. So as we come up here, you can see you have the Coleman Mach Q-Series ACs, a 200 watt solar panel. Also have the WineGuard digital omnidirectional antenna. And I'll walk up here, fully walkable boots. Fully walkable slide out boxes, feels real solid. We'll have some attic vents up here as well. And you'll have a fully walkable slide out box. I am really sorry about the wind noise. Since I started making videos, I realized there is nothing in the world I hate more than wind. It irritates me so much. But out here, you're gonna have TV hookup connections as well. You'll have two outlets here, and then satellite connections there if you wanted to hook up a TV outside. And that's just about everything for the outside. Uh, you'll have your solid step as we come in as well. So this is a Lippert solid step with three steps there and the oversized step coming into the entry door. And let's go inside and take a look at what the inside has to offer. And you know, real quick, before I go inside, I often forget to talk about warranties, but Keystone is going to come with a one year base bumper to bumper warranty essentially, and then a three year structural warranty. Now, one of the things that makes Keystone's warranties unique is they are going to be fully transferable. So both your structural 
and your one year base warranty will be transferable to the next customer if you were to sell it to somebody else. So that is something that just increases the resale value of your RV if you don't keep it um, beyond that three year period that the structural warranty is within. So that is something unique about Keystone with their warranties as well. All right, as we go inside, I'll give you a look at how open the space is here real quick. And then real fast, I'm going to close the awning. So I'm gonna show you where the controls are for the awning here, which are right here. So we're gonna retract that. You can see you have your awning light here as well. I am gonna go show you the awning light because it is a pretty nice setup how they have the awning light set up there. And you do have the in-command light system here. So you can see you have Bluetooth pairing that is going to allow you to link this to your phone so that you can control a lot of the aspects of this RV from your phone. Um, as we walk back out, let me show you the awning light real quick. Awning light is up under the awning here. So even with your awning closed, you will still get use of that light. And then also want to point out real quick, you have the screen door here and it'll come with this Lippert screen assist where all you have to do is just pull down here and it will detach your screen door so you don't have to search for the handle every time to get that to latch in place. Now, as we come in here again, look at how much space is in here. This 100 inch wide body construction opens this up so much. It feels absolutely huge in here. You have a nice big TV and a sound bar and this front kitchen layout gives you a ton of storage. You probably noticed on the outside, there is not a lot of exterior storage on this floor plan. Um, that's because so much of this space was used and utilized on the inside of the RV. So tons of storage space all throughout the inside. And we're gonna look at pretty much every aspect of this travel trailer, but just wanna kind of give you a glimpse around first and a look at everything, then we'll kind of dive into stuff. So. So look around this floor plan, again, big TV, and we'll start looking at kind of all the storage that you have first and go from there. So underneath the TV, you do have the outdoor kitchen behind this area here. So you'll have a shallow storage compartment underneath here. And looks like okay, one outlet underneath here as well. So you can plug something in there. This TV will pull away from the wall, I believe. Yep, you're gonna be on a swivel mount there so you can move that around if you need to. Coming over here, you're going to have a standard size RV microwave, not super huge or anything, but we'll get the job done. And then a nice designated kind of coffee bar area, huge pullout drawers underneath it. And then an ample amount of pantry space in this travel trailer. Open this up and you have a huge compartment under here. And then again, underneath here, um, as we have a bunch of new RVers coming into this industry, buying RVs for the first time, when you see lights like this, there's a little button there to turn them on. I, we had a customer that called in yesterday that just bought an RV, took it home, and he couldn't figure out how to turn on the lights that didn't get turned on by a light switch. And we had to tell him you have to push the button uh, underneath there. So if you don't know that, but now you know, that's how you turn on those lights right there. There's a little button on them, but you can see again how big that space is but it's funny because i remember when i first started working in this industry i didn't know that either um or i didn't know little things like that i should say there were so many little things i learned along the way because there's just so much with these rvs that sometimes the most little things get overlooked is like oh that should be like common knowledge but sometimes it really isn't so try to help out with stuff like that coming to your refrigerator it is going to be a gas and electric refrigerator from Domedic, be about eight to nine cubic feet. And then you have more designated pantry space along the sink area. So you can see all that space that you have on this side of the sink. Also underneath here, you will have some wiring components and your solar charge controller working with the solar panel to go to the battery to keep that charged. This is the Victron Energy solar charge controller that will link to your phone. So you can get, or you can download an app that will give you all the information as far as how much power is being drawn by your solar panel, how many hours are left on your battery, how long it'll take to charge the battery, things like that. All across this front kitchen area, tons of drawers. So you're gonna have four that pull out here that are incredibly deep. That's gotta be like two and a half feet or so. And then you're gonna have four of those. You'll have more storage underneath here. 
and then two more drawers on this side. As part of the in-command light that you have, you'll have this wiring panel here. So this is quick access to your color-coordinated wiring that comes with the Keystone trailer. So all your wiring is color-coordinated and labeled. So every single wire has its own designated color. You can see all your color-coordinated wiring that you have access to right there. I'm actually gonna just leave that off and I'll come back to it here in a second. More storage up on this side. Same as the other side for the pantry and then storage up above the sink. Automotive glass windshield, you have an MCD pull down blackout shade that is a nice interior color match to your cabinets. Solid stone countertops with a nice sparkle in the countertop as well. So hopefully the iPhone camera is able to pick up some of that and you can see, but looks really beautiful. I really like the look of the countertops. Single basin stainless steel sink and a nice pull around faucet that's easy to use. Coming to this side, really unique aspect of this front kitchen model is your island here has the stove on the end. So this is very different than what you probably are typically used to seeing in a front kitchen if you've seen a front kitchen before. But you have the three burner cooktop with the gray stone oven, a bit larger of a size oven than you typically get in a travel trailer and then another pull down drawer right there as well. So tons of storage in here, like I was talking about, these will all light up blue. And then when you turn one on, it'll turn red to indicate that it is on. But so much storage in this kitchen space, definitely going to help out for full-time living if someone is looking to full-time in this with how much storage space you get. Now coming around to this side, you're going to have your table and chairs here, huge windows along this side two recliner seats that are very comfortable. They are the Thomas Paine recliners. And then I'll sit in one here and kind of show you what the view looks like when you're sitting in your recliner. Definitely comfortable. The, um, the material on here feels nice and soft as well. And you can see here, I'm fully laid back. This is what your view is laid back in the recliner when you are in the camper. And I'll show you how far this lays back because it does lay all the way back flat as well. There we go, get it to stay there. So that is how flat your recliners will lay. And on your recliners, you will also have a light function and a massage function as well, plus USB port there. Same on the other side and nice little storage compartment underneath there. Whew, it is warm in here. It's almost 80 degrees in this trailer, so I had to take my jacket off. But so windy outside that you kind of need a jacket, but now it's hot in here. Okay, so one thing I'm not a huge fan of on this trailer, but it's better than it, it could be. It's not as bad as it could be, I should say. You have black pleated shades on here, so I like that they're black. I like that they're soft material. However, I think that pull-down blackout shades would be a nice addition to this trailer that you could easily make that would make this a bit more comfortable and something I would probably do if I were in a trailer like this. But you will have pull down um, pleated shades on all your windows here. Coming to this side, this will be a pull out sofa. So this is going to be a tri-fold sofa here that will pull out to about a full size bed that you can make this into. And really easy to do, you just take the back cushions off. You can see they just come off like that there and then you just pull this out and it takes about five seconds. Huge open wall here so you can decorate that with a lot of decorative stuff to make this feel more like home. Outlets and USB ports behind this corner here and then you're going to have USB ports here as well. And let's look at outlets in the kitchen because now I'm trying to remember where they were. Oh yeah, I didn't show these here, but you have outlets in the cabinetry for both sides of this kitchen space and outlets and USB ports here off the island as well. And outlet here, you can see these outlets with the yellow sticker. If you were to add an inverter in a second solar panel, you will then be able to start getting power to your outlets from the solar power as well. So those are gonna be all your outlets throughout this area that I'm seeing. Also wanna point out your, ta uh, your dinette table here is a freestanding dinette table, so no legs underneath it, it is mounted to the sidewall. And that also means if you wanted to take this out, it'd be very easy to do so if you wanted to put something different there. So that's just about everything in this area. I don't think I pointed out the sound bar that you have, but it is a Furion sound bar. The last thing I want to talk about is your AC system because you do have the Coleman Mach 
ACs here, and these have a residential air filter in them. So this is something that's brand new for 2022, getting a residential air filter in your AC system in a travel trailer or in an RV in general. So that is going to significantly improve your air quality. And then these here also are more efficient. Um, they are about as quiet as a, what would be a whisper quiet AC system that we saw a few years ago. These here are about 12 decibels quieter than your standard AC system, so much more efficient. And then Keystone is kind of the innovator in this blade vent technology here where you have these vents that are pushing air out in a 360 degree motion. That wider range of coverage that you're getting from your AC vents is going to increase the speed that your RV will cool down and the efficiency of your AC system up to 20%. This is something that is being picked up on very quickly. Keystone does it in pretty much all of their RVs now for 2022 and pretty much everybody's copying them. I'm starting to see it in some other brands, which means it is definitely working. If you think about it, directional vents that we were used to seeing to shoot air down in one direction. This is giving you complete coverage of air. So it is going to be much more efficient. And then you can also see coming out of here, you have duct lines running down both sides of your AC and this AC will be ducted together with the AC in the bedroom. Now I took one of these blade AC vents out so you can see what it looks like underneath there. First of all, look at how clean it looks up there. No like foil or anything sticking out like what you're used to seeing, very clean finishes. And then with your blade AC vents, if you look at where the blade text is at, right above that is where this cover is at. So one thing that people have questioned, and I wanna show this in the video, how to get air to go through certain vents or skip certain vents is going to depend on how you set up this here. So if you have it set up like this, where this register right here is facing towards your AC unit that it's coming out of, this is going to cause that air to actually blow by the vent. So it will come around that lip right here and go past that vent. If you turn it this way, that is going to cause it to push the air down through the vent. So if you want it to pass by the vent, you turn it that way. If you want it to flow down through the vent, you turn it that way. And that is how you will kind of direct your air throughout your travel trailer. And then you can see real easy, just snaps up into place there and you pull it out the same way. Very easy to use. So that is a huge thing that I um, have heard lots of great things about from Keystone customers about how well those blade vents are working and keeping the RVs cool. Last thing in this area, you do have Wi-Fi prep. So if you wanted to install a Wi-Fi router, it would go right here on the ceiling and it would be already wired up to the wine guard antenna up on the roof. Now going back this way, actually, oh, one last thing I wanted to touch on that I forgot. Underneath your slide out here, first of all, this is like a woven PVC kind of carpet material it's not actual carpet though but very flexible very rigid and then underneath here you have a wrap sub flooring so your sub flooring is all wrapped tons of brands out there that do not take the time to wrap their sub flooring so just a little shortcut they take this is going to help protect your sub flooring underneath there so that is a thing that keystone does that a lot of other brands don't do where a lot of brands just have exposed wood under there you do have a little bit of carpet in this slide out so just want to point that out there. You do have just a slight bit of carpet. Now coming through here, it is an extra wide feeling hallway because of the 100 inch wide body construction. So I really like that nice big window here. Plus if you just wanted to keep the door open and have the screen closed, you can have some more natural light coming in through there. And coming into your bathroom, a ton of floor space in here. It may not look like it on camera, but it really feels spacious in this bathroom in my opinion. I really feel like I have a good amount of space in here. Two outlets, so can plug plenty of things in there. Medicine cabinet with storage. This is your view sitting on the toilet. Plenty of room all the way around. Doesn't feel tight. And then you have storage underneath there. The shower is a corner shower. And when we open this up, it'll have magnets that keep it together. And when I step up in here, I'm about 6'2 with the shoes on I have on today. And the shower head is sitting right at about the height of my forehead. So that is where I'm about at being 6'2. Um, can lift this up and hold it over your head. And then with the skylight in here, being 6'2, my head has about an inch of clearance to the regular ceiling height. And then with the skylight in there, you get about an extra three to four inches. So you could be about 6'5, six, 6'6 six, six and still fit in the shower here. That brings me to the fact also that it is a 
flat line ceiling, but the ceiling height in here is about 6'6 six, six or so in this travel trailer. 6'5, uh, yeah, about 6'6, six, six, I would say, on the ceiling height. And lots of storage in this bathroom as well. So I really like that. Tons of shelving that you get here for different bathroom materials. And you do have a vent fan here in the bathroom as well. Coming out of here into the bedroom. The bedroom is another nice thing that you get in this travel trailer, having a king size bed. So lots of space and nice looking headboard, three drawers up above. You can see you have your AC here in the bedroom as well. So your second AC, big, big window. So look at your view that you're gonna have in this bedroom. I mean, you have windows all around this area here to really give you some great views wherever you're living at or camping at, whatever you decide to use this RV for. And then you have a big wardrobe closet as well where you'll have some space here for all your different wardrobe necessities. Now, one thing that was really unique this year that is a little thing that almost, I would imagine most people will not notice unless they've been in this industry for at least a few years. When you have sliding pocket doors like this, it's always a matter of how are you gonna keep these doors in place? So nice sliding doors look really nice. Usually we're used to seeing ones that have hinges here that kind of fold out over the lip of the door and it's very easy for that door to come um, kind of out of that track there that it's sitting on. This one is different and I'm gonna show you up under, oh. This setup is different in the sense that you actually have a slit underneath here and there's a rod here that stays in this slit to make sure it stays in track while you slide it back and forth. And that seems like that should be a much more efficient system to make sure that door always stays where it should be going, going in and out, and is not flapping all over the place. So that was a pretty interesting change I have not seen before that I thought was pretty cool and definitely wanted to point out because I think a lot of people wouldn't even notice that was something that was different. And most people wouldn't think to look under there. Up in here, you're gonna have all this storage space there, up above the bed, two lights, in the corners plus you have windows on both sides as well and underneath the bed you have that big storage compartment we looked at from the outside so huge storage area down underneath here you also have all of this storage here for wardrobe so two big pull out drawers great for pants and shirts or things like that and then three more smaller drawers and then you get a nice bench here too that you can use. This is gonna be your breakers and fuses in this box. And outlet here, you'll have an outlet there that is inverted. You can see back underneath here, you have a little bit of space down under there. And let's see if there's an outlet on this side. On this side, no outlet over here. Looks like just outlets on this side of the bed. So be aware of that as well. And that is just about everything for the bedroom. You do have TV hookups here, so you can mount a TV on the wall here or have it on this countertop as well. So you could fit a big size TV in here if you wanted to put a bigger TV in the bedroom. Definitely accommodates for a bigger size TV than some bedrooms will in a travel trailer. But that's pretty much everything. Let's walk back out here, give you one more look at the living room and wrap this up. All right, that's all I got for you, y'all. I'm out here sweating making this video. So if you appreciate the work I put into these videos, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are interested in this RV, I am in a sales position and would love to personally assist you in helping you get into your next RV, whether it's this one or another one that you may have seen on my channel. And you can text me at the number on the screen there and set up a time to come look at them in person or purchase it over the phone. If everything looks right and it's the one that you wanna get, we can set that up as well. So that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you right here.